this is Jasmine and today I'm working on a card that I made for my dad and I'm using uh, various markers. I'm using Ohuhu markers as well as some Copic markers and some of these uh, Spectrum Noir markers and I decided to use markers in this piece because one markers dry really fast and I was on a time limit of like the night before we were giving the present and also because I didn't want to buckle the paper at all and this is just a simple paper that I got from this uh, Walmart it's a cardstock but it's not like fancy watercolor paper or anything like that it does absorb the ink quite a lot because that happens with uh, alcohol based markers it's why they have their own kind of paper but I really don't like using marker paper to me, marker paper has like a strange feel to it and it doesn't blend very well. I don't know, it's supposed to blend better, but there's something about it that I just really don't like the way the ink sits on top of it instead of soaking into it. It's just, it's a different look, it's a different feel. I prefer Bristol Board is my favorite to work with markers on. Markers aren't my most used medium anymore, but I did at one point use markers quite a lot, so this was really fun. I don't I'm not as used to them as I used to be, so the blending in the background is a little bit muddled and also a bunch of my markers were drying, so that was kind of annoying. And about the fact that the markers are dried, I was going to this year do a Huevember piece in like an accordion sketchbook. I have it all thumbnailed out, but I've realized using these markers that a bunch of my alcohol based markers are actually running dry so I don't think I'll be doing that but Cattober has been uh, stretching me kind of thin anyway so maybe I'll take a break from the monthly uh, daily prompt months. <laughs> My basic technique for this piece, uh, for the background, was to be a little bit abstract and a little bit kind of blurry. I threw in some shapes for leaves in a bunch of different colors, and then I just kind of went in with a whole bunch of my different greens to really give it this foresty look. And then I also went in with a really bright yellow, almost, almost greenish yellow and tried to make it look like sunlight was coming in through the background but the main point of this piece was going to be that mushroom in the center and not really the background so I wasn't too worried about the background not looking like really refined also again I did not have very much time to do this in so otherwise I would have maybe planned out the background and actually sketched something for the background in advance uh, same thing for the moss, like I just kind of went in with a bunch of different colors and I kept the strokes kind of short and spiky because I knew I was going to go in and define a little bit of the different like really close up moss fronds or whatever they're called. This piece is of a chanterelle mushroom, I know you can't see it yet because it's just like a ghost mushroom there in the middle of the page but I will color it yellow orange eventually. Uh, but it's inspired by the fact that I go mushrooming every year and go get up a bunch of chanterelles and fry them up and they're delicious and everybody loves it. And this is a tradition that was, I mostly started by my dad and carried on by my dad and he hasn't been able to do that in a while. But whenever I see chanterelles or whenever I go chanterelle hunting I always think of my dad and I thought he would appreciate this card with the big forest mushroom on it. I live in the Pacific Northwest which is where a lot of my inspiration has come through my art. Basically almost everything I do is inspired by nature because it's so beautiful out here and I've been hunting mushrooms basically since I was born. Uh, my whole family does it and I've hunted chanterelles every year, every fall, and I also go for the occasional shaggy mane or lobster mushroom, as well as hedgehog mushrooms, chicken of the woods, uh, oyster mushrooms occasionally, but chanterelles are definitely my absolute favorite, and no one else I know actually cooks them the way that my family does, so if you are a fan of chanterelle mushrooms or you even know what they are uh leave a comment below and tell me how it is that you or your family cooks them up and how you prefer them because i always find it really interesting 
to hear about the different ways that people use them. I know a lot of people put them in omelets or just like uh, fry them with butter. And I personally, I kind of chicken fry them. So a flour, egg, flour, and fry them up and have them. They're really good with like pasta and stuff too that way. And they're just absolutely delicious, but I don't know anyone else that actually cooks them that way. So yeah, I'm just kind of interested to know. One last thing about the art itself, uh, more the technique I was using to try and keep it all consolidated onto the one piece of paper is that the only reason it didn't bleed under the washi tape because ink soaks into the paper is because there's actually a seam there from where I folded the paper but also beware using basic cardstock and washi tape because this did tear up the paper a little bit. So I went in with finalizing with ink and white gel pen and that's about it for this piece. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun and a quick simple one to get done and if you want to find me I'm jasminezelmer.com where you can find the links to my socials and I'm pretty much Jasmine Zelmer everywhere. So thanks for stopping by.